but a little bit of stress is completely normal in life. But if it's overwhelming, it can affect your mental and physical health. So you've got to be Well, I think we all know if you've got a lot of it, it's not good for yeah. you. So what should you be doing? I have some great ideas for you. One that is a little bit unusual, but all of which you can do at home. Meet Natalie and Daniel, hardworking young parents who need to find some relief from stress. Natalie and I have been married for five years now. We've got two kids under the age of two, so life can be pretty stressful sometimes. I would like to learn how to deal with stress, especially when sometimes I can feel it building up and I don't know what to do. And the pressure is beginning to get to Natalie. It's a tough gig being a mum of two. It is tough, yes. Your motivation is you want to try and create an environment that's good for the kids to grow up in. Yeah. So that's why we want to try and find ways of dealing with stress. Yeah, it's tough. Dealing with stress doesn't have to take a lot of time. I've got some simple tips for Natalie and Daniel to try at home. <sighs> two kids under two. You guys must be flat out. Yeah. Non-stop all day. Feeding nappies, feeding nappies. That's the day pretty much. Relentless. Yep. And you're home full time with the kids up there? Yes, I'm on maternity leave and Daniel's mm -hmm. currently working full time. Daniel, do you feel stressed? I get stressed out because there's a lot of the times that you wish there's something you could do about it. Do you wish you had more time for yourself? Oh, yeah, for sure. Hey, there's only so many hours in a day. Yeah. Natalie, like many new mums, is struggling to find time for herself. But stress relief can be as easy as something we do all day. The first exercise we're going to do is as simple as breathing. And all we're going to do is inhale for five seconds and then exhale for five seconds. Breathing, the most basic human necessity. But it can also be a tool to relieve stress. You hold your hand here, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in. Even baby Ariana's finding it relaxing. Okay, so you're not breathing high up, you're breathing deep into your stomach. That feels really good. Yeah. Yeah, you can definitely feel less tense. Yeah, and it just gives you a moment to connect with yourself. Go give to yourself before you can give to them. Yeah. Let's head to a very busy part of the home, the kitchen. Food and stress. Do you think there's a link, Natalie? Oh, most definitely, yeah. When we feel anxious or stressed, we often resort to snacking on sugary foods. The next exercise we're going to do is just tapping on acupressure points on your body, and it's very effective in releasing energy and processing thoughts and feelings. So yeah. grab two fingers like this, and the first point we're going to work on is here. This may look a bit silly, but tapping can be effective when you want to focus your mind. Now move your hand around to your temple. That's it. Now come under your eye. So this is a way to distract yourself from the craving. Yeah. It's also releasing energy because it's tapping acupuncture points. Yeah. Now on here, on your collarbone, just tap. And lastly, come here on the karate chop, right there on the wrist. Okay. Another everyday way to de-stress is using water. This exercise is all about getting in touch with your senses and is perfect for the shower. I really want you to concentrate on being in the moment and the sound and the feel of that water to so just relax and calm. What are you feeling? Water. Nice water, relaxing, peaceful, calming. When you're next in the shower, try closing your eyes and focusing on the sensations of the water on your body. All right, take the eye masks off. How was that? Oh, that was actually really good. I can definitely put that into practice in the yeah. shower. My final tip is to replace those marshmallows with nutritious food to help fight stress. So here I've got a selection of vitamin-rich foods that help to de-stress the body. So you have your nuts, which help boost the immune system. Yeah. You've got your leafy greens, which are full of fiber, and that actually helps to stabilize your blood sugar. Then you've got avocados, full of good fats. And again, it's really good to stabilize your mood. And then your berries, full yeah. of antioxidants. If you put these in your body, it's going to help to rid yourself of cortisol and stress. Yeah. I hope it really does help That's you. It's been great. Also. No yoga mat required. No. <laughs> well, good luck, and I hope that you can really enjoy a bit of meditation in Thank action. Thanks, Tiff. Thank Appreciate you so much. It. I'll see you later. Bye. It sounds so simple doing these things, but once you've done them, it actually helps. It makes you feel less stressed.
and it can be something as simple as putting a hand under water or just taking a little bit of extra time what you're doing in the kitchen. I'll definitely put it into practice. That really took me back to how hard it is when you've got little kids at home yeah. and everything seems overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the tapping. We've all been the doing tapping. it. Everyone in the audience is tapping. Look, I understand it's not for everybody, but tapping is really good to break the cycle of stress and bring your awareness back into your body, into, into the moment. And when you're stressed, you're thinking about the future. But to de-stress, you have to be the power of now. It's really important. What should we do if we have some serious stress? If you're having serious stress or experiencing a lot of anxiety, then go talk to your GP. Mm. And the breathing, the calming mm -hmm. nature of the breathing. It seems like the most simple thing, but it's something that's so easy to forget. Deep breathing is so important. When you're breathing high in your chest, that makes you stressed out. Pull your breath down into your diaphragm nice and low, and it will flood your body with calming chemicals. And, and in for five, out for five. Yes, yeah. Try it in through the nose and out through the mouth. That's what Barry does when you look at his belly. He's breathing. <laughs> He's been holding it in for five series. It's going to blow eventually. I can't hold it in anymore. I'm not you can't it. hold it in. You know I'm the good thing, guys. It. If it's been in for five, it's about to come out for five. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful advice. Please mindfully thank the wonderful Tiffany Horne.